Hey, it's Paul here, Shield of Faith Fitness Gym. Um, down here working out here. I might use a late night workout, get my, been here for about an hour. And just had a thought to come to mind. I just wanted to kind of talk about for a minute. And, um, you know, I, uh, let me get my thoughts together. You know, we live in a time, and you see it, I see it all the time. <clears throat> and I've dealt with it myself. It's a, you know, a lot of people deal with anxiety, um, anxiety and depression on different levels at different times for different reasons. And uh, a lot of times a life event will trigger it, um, a change in your life. Um, you know, sometimes it can be health related, it can be something in your body chemistry wise that needs to be dealt with. But I have truly have learned in my life, you know, is you know as the bible says as a man thinketh so is he so you know your internal thoughts what you think creates emotions which creates chemical responses and so forth in your in your brain in your body so anxiety a lot of times people think there's something wrong with them they think they're dying have a heart attack something's got to be wrong with me but it's your thoughts it's what's what's been going on in your life for the past couple years what's going on at the present Sometimes it takes time to, to reevaluate your life and let go of negative emotions, get rid of bad relationships, allow yourself to grieve. Maybe there's something a lost in your life, you just buried it. You gotta deal with that. You gotta grieve, you gotta cry, you gotta get it out. Um, maybe there's something you're afraid of, you don't wanna face. Whatever it is, you, it's your thoughts and you gotta deal with it, you gotta face it. Face it head on, but, but you gotta have a plan. You got to put together a plan to deal with the anxiety and the depression that's going on in your life. And one of the worst, to me, one of the worst ways to go about it, and I know in some cases it's a, it's probably needed and it's helped a lot of people, but medication, you know, getting on medication um, with all the side effects and what it does to your body and so forth, um, I don't feel is the answer. I feel that if you put the time in to, to, problem solve, to get in some self-help programs, um, and to me, one of the biggest, best, most neglected drugs there is, is the gym, is fitness, is exercising, is working out, is, you know, busting your butt in the gym, getting a sweat, um, releasing those endorphins, you know, the cortisol that's building up in your body from all the stress of the day, just getting rid of all that stuff, you know, for me, it's one of the reasons why I train. You know, I do it for that reason. It helps me deal with stress better. It's like tonight I come down here, I just felt like crap. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I felt like crap. There's a lot going on in my life right now. Um, opening another gym, you know, just different things going on. Son's getting going to police academy. There's a lot of my own worries as a father, you know, and I was feeling pretty rough today. And come down here and here I am an hour, over an hour later and I feel so much better. And it just sprung this thought to my mind again. I thought, you know, I'm gonna do a video. Because there's a lot of people who deal with this. And <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> Drop the phone there. But anyways, I know there's a lot of people uh, who, deal, who deal with this and uh, so forth. And uh, I don't know, I just wanted to share some encouragement that you're not alone. I talk to so many people who are going through it. Um, don't turn to alcohol, don't turn to drugs, don't turn to addictions. Some people, food becomes their addiction, so they gain a lot of weight, and you know they, they're not happy themselves anymore. Then that brings on other health problems, and it just piles up. So take care of yourself. We live in, a, in the Midwest here in Ohio, this area. You know, fitness is not as big as important if you, the more you go west get out there when I say west of California and so forth it's an it's the norm so out here it's more it's easier to go with the crowd go with the bar scene get caught up in all that crap there's a better way to live and that's what we're trying to do here spread that message you know that you can um, take care of your body in a better way you can eat right you can exercise you can get a part of, uh, of a personal training program some of the classes we do uh, build some relationships to the gym, get a partner to work out with, just things that build you up, make you feel better, keep you positive. But it takes some effort, folks. It takes you have to put the effort to do it, and you'll be glad you did it. So anyways, I wanted to 
put that share that thought tonight I got a couple more sets here to do and again I'm just glad I'm glad I do this I feel so much better it helps and uh, you know it's 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 the best way to go about dealing with life in my opinion so anyways God bless anybody and everybody who listens to this video and uh, if you need any help, please reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to help you, work with you, and love to have you a part of our gym where our slogan is think positive. So God bless you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.